Well, hello there, humans. Happy Earthlings. So if you are where, if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel. Look at this red hot little number here, the comet. Today, we're going to be having a look at some tier seven games. I've been playing an awful lot of tier seven. You know why? I'm not going to go into it. Uh, and I want to talk to you about the movement. Um, obviously, I've been playing claw. Uh, and the reason I've been playing a lot of claw is because I think it's a, a far better way of moving than using two thumbs. It's just a pain in the ass to figure out and get used to it. I've had moments with it, but I'm going to show you a couple of games. Um, this one in the Comet in particular, and then a couple of snippets from a, uh, a dragon game and a loop escape. Um, and the the real issue I'm having at the moment isn't so much the controls, it's my ping. You've probably noticed I'm jerking around all over the place. Basically everyone in Australia is at home and on the internet, and it's caused a hell of a ruckus with my Blitz, uh, blitz play. It's You can see it's just very, very hurdy-gurdy. Um, one of the things that I'm really loving is this new control method for on-the-move firing and for tracking multiple targets. It just feels way cooler. Uh, I still am not 100% with it, but it's certainly a lot easier to hit shots like that when you can quick scope in and change things around very quickly. You can see the ammo switches while moving, doing all that kind of, without taking your thumb off the... Uh, the old accordion off the old squeeze box and the comet's not really a tank that it's hard to convince me to drive uh, and running tier 7 is not a real rough kick because i'm running a lot of my favorite vehicles and the the comet's certainly one of them if not the best vehicle that i've ever driven i've, I've got such a a wonderful feeling for this tank uh it's if you haven't looked at my um my top tanks of all time the Comet's right in there. Have a look at this uh, little sequence of play. This is why I love the new control style. Watch the weapon still being aimed while I switch ammo and while I'm moving back and forth and zooming in and out at the same time. And then getting quick shots off uh, and being able to check out everyone else in the general vicinity. The... Look... I know people, some people don't like it, but just, it is what it is. It's, shots like that are so much easier. The quick scope shots are so much easier. I have, um, I have noticed that I think it's not just me that's suffering from the ping issues at the moment. I feel like it's pretty fair for everyone because the servers are probably just getting absolutely hammered in all the games at the moment. There are, there are loads on the servers that are quite unlike anything that they'd normally see. Uh, during general play in a standard year or a standard month. But because everyone's obviously quarantining themselves and social distancing, we're doing an awful lot of uh, online gaming and that's resulting in a big bottleneck, like just an absolute buttload of people trying to play video games. And uh, yeah, when you've got bad internet in the first place, like Australia does, that can be all kinds of trouble. Uh, for those of you who don't like the Comet or haven't really played the Comet, this is not the most imposing looking of medium tanks. Its profile is very boxy. Uh, it's the, you know, it's the heir apparent to the Cromwell uh, and has crazy amounts of gun depression. Uh, you've got 12 degrees of gun depression, which is pretty phenomenal and really odd to have that much gun depression in a tier seven medium. But, it's also got a lot of DPM on a low alpha gun with very average amounts of alpha. Obviously, 160 is not huge. That's your standard 75mm, 20-pounder gun. But for all that, it's it's low. It's got a, a very nice uh, very nice gun mantlet for its actual weight division. Uh, and it's capable of just tearing people apart when given an opportunity and situations like this where you're going to see this centurion roll up are perfect for the comment where you get like a, a little bit of back and forth with an exceptionally quick i mean look at it 3.4 seconds between shells is not a large amount of time like that's a an awful lot of shots fired you better get your thumb ready when you're running a tank like this and you can see here I, this is what i'm really enjoying is this little little just Whoa, little quick shots like that. Little, little, whoa, boom, just sneaking one in. Even if they're not hitting, like, I, I just love the fact, I mean, you can see it jerking around all over the place. Jesus, internet, it's really tough. It's, 
It's difficult for everyone, I know, but it, it does feel a little bit like you're bringing it on yourself. And I mean, look at those shots. This is such a lovely tank to drive. It's always been one of my favourites, and it, it will remain so. I was wondering what that T49 was doing, if he was ever going to come back to life, but he has. Congratulations, he's turned up. Uh, and the 4502A, who had a couple of... I mean, look at that. That's just horrible. Or is it like 6% packet loss at this point? That's why I wasn't going out, because I didn't trust the other two guys to actually finish the game. Now, we ended up getting a mastery for this, and this was the first game we played in a long time in the Comet. But, you know, it's a game I've played. A take, I've, I've played absolutely squillions of games in it. It's one of my favourites. Um, 4286, uh, lots of damages, lots of XPs. Let's move along. Uh, and we're going to show you two games now, or snippets from two games. The first one is the 62 Dragon. This is one of my favourite little things. Do you see how I'm driving along there wiggling? It's so cool. Like, I just love doing that now. Like, I can drive, wiggle, and shoot all at the same time. And it's just a wonderful thing. If, if the only good thing that comes out of uh, me running Claw is that I get to drive, wiggle, and shoot all at the same time, then that's a win as far as I'm concerned. I mean, any time a man can just drive, wiggle, and shoot, you're, uh, you're really loving stuff. Again, the movement is so useful. I've actually found that it's better when I play with it just on my lap. Um, that seems to be the, the best way of getting this thing to work. Uh, it's a great little tank too here. It's high, tier 7, you forget just how many good tanks there are. Type 62 Dragons, Comets, Lupuses, T29s, Tiger 1s. There's so many good tanks here. And uh, this thing has long, long, long been a favourite. Um, a tank that... Oh, see the, the, the driving wiggle? I mean, the on-the-move shots like this... If you can't see the improvement there has been in my in-game movement, I don't know what to what to tell you. Like, yeah, this is... This whole claw thing... I've had people say that it it's, doesn't make any difference. If you have to lift your fingers off the pad to do something, then it makes a difference. I mean, drive-by, shot, aim, even changing ammo types as you do things, um, and zooming around looking, it's it's just so much more efficient. Quick scopes. I love it. I just absolutely love it. Uh, I, I wish I could get more of it. Oh, hang on. No, no, that's not the tank you want to go out in front of. Wait until he shoots at someone else. Happy days. Smack the panther. Roll on through. Hitting adrenaline. I love the little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, this is the lupus. I don't know if you remembered about the lupus. This is a tank with 11 degrees of gun depression on a remounted turret. Um, if you've forgotten about how good this thing is, you need to reassess your, your life choices. This thing is way better than... Uh, People seem to remember. It doesn't have great shell velocity, as you can see there, but it's really strongly armoured and can actually go hull down with a rear-mounted turret, which is redonkulous. Hull down above people. It's just quite funny, really, that this is... This is uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is um, not looked on as a, a stronger tank. But even with all the power creep that's gone on in the in the game over the recent wee while, this is absolutely something that is still one of my favourite tier seven heavies to drive. I mean, you you don't struggle to get shots off at all. That boar sig up there, mind you, is a big worry. I'm just staying nice and low under this little area here, so he can't get a real good look at me. And uh, that seems to be working thus far. Here we go, back into it. T-34 and 2, on the move, never stopping. No retreat, no surrender. Ooh, we're going to probably eat one here from the big boom sig. Eventually he's going to shoot me. Um, how did you not die, T-34? Just letting the reticle sit. Yeah, this isn't the best on the move uh, gun like any of the big 120s. It sucks if you don't... Uh, if you don't sit still and let the reticle come down, but yeah, it still works. He's missed me, thank God, the boss. And you heard the big of the uh, of the HE. Here we go. One straight in. Try and move forward so we can get behind this little bit of a berm. The VK100 is having tremendous issues with getting this uh, this guy finished. He'd be better off shooting at me, which he decides he's going to do. Surely the VK is just going to shoot him in the ass now. But maybe not. Come on. The, the rest of the team's not happy with the VK at all. I'm like, fair enough. 
I'll do the business. Yeah, so that's it. That's Blitz for me this week. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, having a lot of fun. The the Tier 7 thing is, is just lovely. Uh, there are a lot of good tanks at Tier 7 and absolutely no missile tanks at all. Uh, which is just great. And if you want to live a life without missile tanks, then come and join me at the new Tier 10 down in Tier 7 and see if you can't just find your niche. Have a lot of uh, people sending in replays too. Thanks very much for that. If you want to send the replays in, it's bushkagaming at gmail.com. I've got a big bunch of replays coming up, so look out for them. We'll be doing more of those this week and uh, just generally having a good time. Hopefully keep getting better at the claw method and as we progress, do some live streams. Anyway, look after yourselves all. Stay safe in the battlefield and until next time, bye for now.